right, I've just taken a load of photos. So I'm just going to walk around this church. St. Piro. It's got like a... Obviously for drainage and all that sort of thing. Lightning conductor leading up to the cross there. Lots of colour placker and lichens on the walls. <sighs> well, like I said, the, one of the highest, well, the highest church. The oldest part is the tower and the porch. So a little tiny window there, that's inside the tower when you climb up, I spat. That was locked. It doesn't go all the way up apparently, it sort of stops when it gets to the roof. So I never quite finished it. A couple of little graves, I suppose there was more graves in here. And there we've got like a little view in through the window there. What's that say? Eight, there's an eight and a nine on there. I wonder what that means. There'll probably be, no, um, 1897. Oh, 1897 is printed on the window because this was um, re done up big time by the Ackland family. So uh, that's what that stands for, I expect, when it was done up. And it's all written down anyway. But it certainly is a beautiful church with the big door inside. It's amazing. And these slabs on the floor look. We just open that up again and just have a feel of the place again. So peaceful. Like I guess I can I can feel my sister Judah. I'll bet you anything she's been here. I've got no idea though. But I can imagine her walking in here and loving it. Stoke Parish Parish Church. Yeah, I can feel anywhere like this I I'd feel her. Only Jude. Maybe my mum. My mum actually liked old churches and buildings. So we've got the rule, and uh, there's a lot of rules in here. I've taken pictures. This looks pretty old, 1806, age 30. Can't read the name though. Francis Rule, he's there, look. He, he died age 72 in 1882. And John. That Francis was a wife, and John died in 1895, age 78. Might have been the husband. Another rule there. Edith rule. So that looks like William Horn of this parish who died May, something or other, 1761. That is really old, isn't it? That must be the oldest visible stone, that one. That one might be old as well. There's a crick, which I've taken a picture of. The old farmhouse, look. Richard Tamlin, there's a load of Tamlin graves there. There's the hills up there, look. It took four hours, by the way. It was two o'clock when I, after I'd done all around the inside of the church, I had a look. So we've got plenty of time. I want to go back a different way, though. Sarah Jane Rule, 1917, age 72. So that one there, nothing written on it. Another stone there with nothing on it. They've got these more recent people and people that were wardens. Robert William Whitehead, church warden of Stoke Perry Church, died 1991, and his very dear wife Margaret Lovell Whitehead, she died 1994. And there's more Whiteheads here. Bob and Margaret Whitehead. 1914. What's that say? Companion of Bob and Margaret. Yeah. I can't quite read that. I don't know what that says. Is that Janet? The lifelong companion of... Yeah, those, those over there. Who cared for this church over many years. Look at the lovely scene though. Certainly catches the wind up here though. I've captured a lot of photos. 
This is rural Somerset on Exmoor, everyone. <clears throat> September the 12th, 2019. Here's the back of the church. I'm not going to go around that bit again. So I've sort of done that, but what a lovely view, look. Look at the hills over there. Isn't it beautiful? Shirley Kettermall up there. Lady born in the 30s. Yeah, it's worth coming. It's worth coming here to see this beauty and the beautiful church. Now I'm going to walk partly the way back and then I'm going to decide whether to walk down that track to catch the... or go on. I think I might walk back down that track to the stream again and follow that to Horner. I think that's what I'm going to do. It's going to be a bit of um, guessing, guesswork. But yeah, no, it's, uh, I'm glad I videoed it because, like I said, I might never come here again. I'm only going to pop into Colburn because it's on my route. That's why I'm revisiting that. I feel the spirit of my sister here, though. Yeah, I do. I know she would have been here. She uh, walked over there. Right, bye everyone in here. You had a lovely place to live. The world's changing quite a lot since your time. Yeah. Over 100 years ago, some of you, 200 years ago, some of you. Yeah, but you aren't forgotten, you see. It's people like me that'll get forgotten because I'll be scattered to the wind. But you don't have to be remembered. It's a bit vain, isn't it? Um, there we go, then. I think I did video a bit of this. So I'm not going to... I'll just video going back on down here. So beautiful, isn't it? I feel sad actually. I don't know why, I just do. This is called Church Farm, by the way. Imagine it when they had the, the troughs and, and all that out here. You know, some dog was probably once uh, tied up to that, or the horse. There's lots of little features like that, you know. An old stable there. Yeah, and look at that. Cobblestone. Original look. Stable doors. That's probably a original stone barn there. What's that say? Oh yeah, two and a half miles to Weber's Post. I don't know if I want to do that. Oh, out this way, shall Right. Glad I visited it. for now.